If I was a flower growing wild and free, all I'd want is you to be my sweet honeybee. And if I was a tree growing tall and green, all I'd want is you to shade me and be my leaves. <laughs> Grocery store. Okay, do you see I got the new? Are you the new green bag that we got for groceries? Wow, that's sweet. Yeah, I use yes, less plastic bags and it's better for the environment. And well, that's, that's the last of the special K bars. It goes in the trash. Hey, you recycle in this house. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I grew up recycling at my house back home, so even coming to college, we decided to carry on that practice with my roommate. So we have two separate trash cans. We have one for regular garbage and then one for cardboard and plastic and glass and aluminum and anything that can be recycled. I don't know if y'all remember, but in 2009, during general elections, there was a small thing at the very bottom to vote either yes or no to the Aggie Green Fund, which was for every student, um, for every student there was an additional $3 fee that would go towards the Aggie Sustainability Fund or the Aggie Green Fund. And it would go towards sustainability on campus, and the, the vote passed. And since then, um, there's been a lot of new things on campus, um, like more recycling trash cans, and um, and all the WCL and different um, computer labs, which places to you know recycle paper and different projects like this. This has shown that student consumers are along with the green movement, and they believe in going green, and they support even this extra three dollar fee on top of everything else that we have to pay for to support sustainability. Here's something really cool that we found right outside of Ag Cafe that has <laughs> solar powered panels on top uh, with Aggie sustainability and you can go and you can plug in your computers or your cell phone chargers and get energy straight here in the middle of nowhere it seems like and it also has its own light and provides energy purely solar powered so it's really cool what they're coming up with. said I wish I was a tree. The tree said I wish I could be a different kind of tree. The cat wished that it was a bee. The turtle wished that it could fly really high into the sky, over rooftops and then dive deep into the sea. And in the sea... Okay, so as you can see, big brand names like uh, Clorox and Dawn and Palmolive are jumping on the uh, green initiative. And they're really, um, I guess, honing in on what consumers want because consumers don't just want a green product. They also want a product that works well. So um, as you can see, um, they're doing that. And we also uh, remember that with Greenworks, we learned about that in class with the case study. And this is kind of, you know, showing us that they're really trying to make a difference in the world with their green products.
right? Yes. Right. How much cheaper is that? 10 cents. 10 cents. Well, thank you very much. Today we're here at Starbucks and what I just did is I used a reusable uh, recycled uh, glass cup. Basically what that did was allow me to buy the regular thing that I would get but at a discounted price of $4.45 instead of $4.55. Starbucks has made a whole lot of initiatives as you can see to help our planet and what they say is to grow your collection but strength of footprint. One of the things that then is in their new cup, they actually use 20% free consumer recycled paper. Starbucks is not only changing their products to help their business, but they're also promoting and encouraging their consumers to be more eco-friendly and greener in their purchases.